want to not be on my team. I can't really see what did I miss. Mm. Mm. Extra pussy. Mm. So, this is the only time that I could like really film this video because. Nobody's with me. I'm able to like really like get through this. Honestly, I'm be real with y'all. I'm like really hurt about the situation and I don't want this to be like a bashing type of thing because I'm not bashing the person, but I feel like I'm going to be truthful about my shit. I'm going to be truthful about how I feel. I'm not going to hold back or just give people grace because I think that's the problem. I think people have this stigma where they can do certain things to you and it's like it's no consequences for them so like they can just continue to run over you and run over you and run over you and do what they want to do and it's not an issue and I'm just tired of it. Um, I'm actually going to do all story times but like this is the main one that y'all was asking for it was how I got finessed by a bum. So I was talking to this guy and we're just going to keep it all the way bro. I'm going to keep it. I am going to say certain things and I'm also speaking terms that the girls that get it, the girls that get it, I don't really have to self explain what it is and what it's not. If you read between the lines, you read between the lines, I really don't care no more. So I was dealing with this BQ and it all started from, it was something called the gentleman's bull or whatever. It started from there and they was introduced to me as my steps but that was never really my steps that situation happened and he was not jacking that and you know think one thing led to another we was farting in the club or whatever i never saw him after that right i saw him one time we was at a ball and then we ended up going to the club never saw him after that then i saw him again at this place called boxes in manhattan once again we was cool but we was not cool like that like it wasn't really given that like he would always say i was pretty all this extra stuff but that's pretty much it. I didn't really take it on mine into at the boxes. So at the boxes, I was there with a whole different person. I was talking to a different person at the time, or whatever the case may be. And they were talking to a different person at the time. And I was so drunk that I ended up going with them to where they live at in, in their city. We're going to get to that. And we, you know, started bonding on the bus or whatever. We sleep together on the bus or whatever. Uh -uh. But like, that was it. And then it wasn't until we was there and then we was laid up and stuff and i felt like it was just so weird that we was just laid up so quick because it was like you know you're supposed to be my steps but it's like you you was just too adamant to do it so quick i don't know it was just weird so after that happened we ended up like speaking every day and um we ended up being on the phone we ended up being cool and but cool to the point that we liked each other and i liked him and i really and the thing about me i know i talk about my zodiac sign a lot but as a virgo well just me as a human being and what i've been through it takes a lot for me to like open up to somebody and just even give myself to people because i feel like i've been through so much in life that I speak about and it's like I just feel like I'm so much of a genuine person and I feel like a lot of people like play me like not even just guys I just feel like friends too like people turn on me so quick and it be for no reason I'm really not a hateful person I'm very loving I'm very caring if I really rock with you like people that know me personally that really really like are cool with me know like I'm like I'm the sweet one I can I can get but that's just not something that I do like when it comes to like people that I'm cool with and I feel like people you know have that stigma about me but that's not me and that's just not what it is so whatever his way whatever after that that happened we you know we started speaking we started being cool or whatever I, I was in the I ended up going to the city a lot I ended up going to the city a lot traveling to see them and just you know, get in rooms and stuff just to be with them. Because, you know, they really can't host like that. So, just common courtesy. Like, because I really like the person. And my whole thing is, is when I really like somebody, I really like somebody. And it takes a lot for me to even open up to somebody. And I'm going to keep saying that throughout this video. Because I want y'all to know, like, this is, this is what it is, right? So, I ended up liking the person. And... What was the first thing that we ever went through? I'm trying to see. Because this has been on and off for a year. This is somebody that I was talking to for a year. This is not somebody that was just like three months ago. We just started talking. No, I was on and off with this boy for a year. The first issue that we ever had was that, if I'm not mistaken, I had told somebody something. 
but I told them that to test them to see if they was going to go back and say something and they did and then it was just like a whole big thing about that so we wasn't really speaking but instead of him just telling me what it was I ended up seeing him at the club and he kissed somebody in front of me my face like in front of my face like to get me jealous to get me mad now keep in mind y'all this is my city that we're in now we're in new york you're in my city you're coming to my city to kiss somebody in my face and like you know like talk to people in front of me to get me mad get me jealous because of whatever the situation is but i didn't know that that was a situation when he could have just been mature enough to just tell me so that was strike one right there because it's just like if you're not mature enough to tell me what the issue is and you want to do petty shit like this like it's just not gonna work so i let it slide i didn't really let it slide i just like because i'm not gonna front i was like i did smack him outside we was like about the fight damn near outside in the middle of the street drunk and everything but i took that with a grain of salt and i just said like if you could act like that like then it's cool so after that happened, we just stopped speaking because he was, like, downplaying the situation. I think that was the problem for me. It was one thing to, you know, say what you were saying or whatever, but I feel like to downplay the situation to other people was, like, kind of like a slap in my face because it's like, why are you downplaying me? <sighs> yes, that happened, and then after that happened or whatever, we just stopped speaking. And I didn't really move on, but I was, like, talking to other people. But it wasn't like how I feel, how I feel to this day now. But at that time, I was just like, okay, he's a little boy. He's immature. I got time for that. Whatever. I ended up seeing him months later in the club. And he was on my body. And I looked good, of course. Like, it's me. And we ended up reminiscing. But I was really, like, standoffish. Like, one thing about a Virgo, like, when we're turned off and we're done, we're done. Like. And I feel like at that moment I was done because it was just like, it's been months. I don't know what you've been doing. You don't know what I've been doing. And it's just like, I just feel like what you, you just in my face to be in my face. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's in your face so you in my face. Now, a bitch queen is a masculine man who predominantly talks to the same sex, but they can talk to a female too if they are considered bisexual or pansexual when pansexual talks to every gender whether it's trans woman trans man cis woman um you know what i'm saying straight men i mean cis men gay men like that's a pansexual a bisexual is i guess what you can consider what this was the situation was if we go if we could put it like that as we see bisexual like this person is bisexual right and why i don't have a problem with dating bisexual men is because i feel like if like it's like it's okay like you're comfortable whatever case can be whatever so it's like you know who am i to judge like you know what i'm saying you like what you like but i don't play the two relationship thing like you're not gonna talk to me and talk to a boy like that's just wow like that's crazy to me I, i'm not i'm not a guy and i'm not a butch queen so it's like why would you be talking to me and a boy at the same time i'm not competing with a man over my man that's crazy so that's where the stigma comes where a lot of people don't want to talk to butch queens because like it comes with a lot it comes with too much and some butch queens are catty and they are weird and they think they are girls and yeah but we're gonna get into that so after that happened or whatever, he was trying to take me out on a date, all this extra stuff, and whatever. Keep in mind, I'm, I, I saw him in the club or whatever case may be, whatever. My friend at the time literally pulled us together and was like, oh, you know him, da-da-da. I'm like, yeah, like, I used to talk to him, da-da-da-da, like, whatever. We keyed, we laughed it off, whatever. Do y'all know that they ended up talking behind my back? So, that's strike two. So... They ended up talking behind my back. They didn't do nothing from my knowledge, but they were talking behind my back, like FaceTime, everything, I, I, and the boy that I was talking to was like downplaying the situation again, like, you know, but I can't whatever, behind my back. And I feel like that was like a slap in my face. It's just like, you was fiending to be on my body again, but then it's like you're downplaying the situation for like the next bitch, which is so weird because it's like, why are you even doing that? Like, it's like, it's not even that deep. And then like, you're like, no shade, like, you doing it for a bitch that was my friend. That's weird as fuck. And then it's just like, that's just weird. Like, both them bitches was weird for that, like, respectfully. And they're still weird to this day. I don't give a fuck how both parties feel about nothing. So, that's my thing. And then, yeah, whatever, whatever that happened. Boom, boom, boom. And then, 
whatever he's gonna be, whatever. I found that out and I didn't say nothing. The boy ended up moving to California. He's trying to sell me a whole fantasy how he's so changed and he's really working on himself and all this extra stuff, all the stuff that he's been through. He's really working on himself, blah, blah, blah. And me being the dumb, naive person I am, I'm believing it. I'm really thinking that he's really changing. But then when I found out that he was talking to my friend, I'm like, okay, cool. So I let it slide. I end up having surgery. Um, he was calling me every single day, checking up on me, all this extra stuff, da, da, da. And keep in mind, when I talk to this boy, I was speaking to this boy every single day. Like, every day I was speaking to this boy. Like, I would go, I, we would be on FaceTime, everything, all day. Like, sleep on the phone, like, shower, brush our teeth, da, 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 da. Speak the whole day. Make sure our phones are charged so that we can speak the whole day. Like, my bill was probably high as hell because I was on the phone with him a lot. Like, for real, for real. And I would just speak to him every single day, every single day, every single day. So then, little things started to happen when we were dating. Like, he would ask for, you know, money for something. Like, you know, to buy him something and all this extra stuff. And I'm not going to say that he never put the effort in because, like, he did take me out on dates and stuff. I'm not going to say that. But I do feel like I was doing more for him than he was doing for me. That's what I will say. Uh, and then it was just, like, just little shit. Like, you just always needed money, always needed this, always needed that. But you always had money to smoke. And then that was the problem for me. Like, you have money to smoke all the time, but, like, you don't have money for other things when it came to, like, meals or just whatever. And at the time when I was sending the money or, like, when I was doing stuff for him, like, getting him food and stuff like that, like, that was something that I was dealing with. So it's like, you know, like, I'm not looking at it as, like, you're finessing me. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at it like, you know, I like you and I'll make sure that you eat because I'm not a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? But as time got, like, went on, it's just like, okay, like, you always asking me for something, all this extra stuff, like, because I don't know what your money situation is like, but then it's like, you're always outside. So it's like, are you asking everybody else for money, or you're just specifically asking me for money? I feel like that's weird. So, you know, I charged it to the game, like, whatever, like, it, it wasn't like a, a every time thing, like, it wasn't like every time he was asking for money, it was just like random things and then it was just like i would try to like ignore it and switch the top su um the subject and then it would just be like oh you know something something about uh, money or something like that and that shit used to turn me off i feel like that's such a bomb like i feel like as a man you should never ask a female for money especially if we're not in a relationship like my father never asked my mother for money and they was married my grandfather never asked my grandmother for money and they was married like i just feel like it's just not a manly thing to do to ask a person for money like a female for money i feel like that's so weird and you know y'all may have your opinions or whatever in the comments whatever but i personally feel like that is very weird to ask that like no shade i just feel like that's weird so at the time i'm paying it because at the end of the day like i said like that's my man so you know what i'm saying like we cool whatever are we working towards something that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking we're working towards something boom 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 so my birthday come, you know, um, like, send me this whole long message how he loved me and all this extra stuff, blah, blah, blah. Then, uh, I hit it before I moved out here. I literally told him, like, I'm be real with you. Ah, ah, like, I don't rock with you. Like, I found out that you was talking to, like, the, my old friend or whatever. Ah, ah. And, um, you know, he gave me the whole top story and all this extra stuff and how he was so sorry. And I just feel like in this day and age, when people say sorry, they're not sorry. Like, I'm sorry. Look, I just said that. <laughs> like, I feel like somebody could punch me in my face right now and be like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, you're not sorry because you did that on purpose. And I know you did. Like, it's the reason why you did that. Like, if you say sorry and you have a butt, or you say sorry and you, like, are still defensive about something, then you're not really sorry. Because if I'm really sincerely sorry about something, I will apologize and really be like, I apologize, like, for how I made you feel. I'm not going to be like, oh, but this is what happened, da, da 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 And I used to do that a lot, but sometimes that is not an apology. So when somebody tells you I'm sorry and it's not really I'm sorry, like, you have to pay it. And I feel like I don't I don't like sorries. Like, I never liked sorries from when I was young because, like, I would always get broken promises from, like, my father or just, in, like, you know, other people. Like, it was just always sorry, sorry, sorry. That's all I kept hearing. So I just feel like when it plays into somebody that I'm in a relationship with or somebody that I'm talking to, I feel like it's just like a, you know what I'm saying? I don't like it. So we stopped speaking. Then... You know, he wanted to keep speaking. I really didn't want to speak to him because I just felt like it was just like, no, nah, I feel like you just need to work on yourself. And that's another problem, too. I don't know why people feel like they have to bring their trauma onto me. Like, if you're going through something, you go through that by yourself. Like, why do you feel that you need to bring me down with you when you're going through what you're going through? That's so weird. Like, I feel like that's so weird. So, 
ah, 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 I moved down here. You know, we was talking a little bit when I moved down here, whatever. I still wasn't like, like, you're all the way in Los Angeles and I'm in Atlanta. Like, that's not gonna work. So, you know, I'm out here just like chilling or whatever. I, I, I was outside a little bit, but like, I wasn't really into Like, I was entertaining people, but it wasn't like how it was with him. Because I feel like, besides us like dating, I guess you could say, I actually really liked the person as a friend. Like, I feel like we had a friendship vibe. In a dating vibe too i feel like we was able to talk about certain things and like you know laugh and be really really cool and i feel like you know that that changed everything like you know what i'm saying like it was like dang i like not that i wouldn't say i found the one but it was just like i thought that it was gonna be something like i really i really had faith in it and um that's why I wasn't doing anything reckless or like violating or anything like that. I was really being loyal for what, right? For what? We about to get into that right now because I'm not about to sugarcoat in this video. So, uh, a situation happened where, because he's linked to my ex and I was drunk one day, ended up being petty about something or whatever, doing it to my ex. And then my ex found out that we was talking and then it was just like a whole big thing. And he was like trying to like blast it on social media and all this extra stuff. And act like he was so hurt like my ex wasn't like fucking the whole town of Philadelphia. But anyways, so that happened. <laughs> yeah, because we really about, I'm like laying it all out. Like I'm not playing it. I'm laying it all out because... I'm at a point where I have to get this out and this is the only way to get this out because I've been like lingering on it for so long and I'm healing but I feel like at the same time I'm not about to let people play with me because I keep a lot of stuff in and I don't like try to like expose people because that's not what I do. I don't expose people that's not what like I don't like be on my Instagram exposing people. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like when somebody tries to play me and it's, it's given like you bragging about it on social media, we're gonna brag about how you're a bum on social media too. Since you wanna play that game, we're gonna play that game today. So let's get into it. We start speaking, he hit me up for Christmas. Okay, so the boy's birthday is Christmas. So uh, I wrote him happy birthday or whatever. I, um, like, and it was just a friendly happy birthday. Like, it was not, I was not trying to be toxic or reminiscent about nothing. Like, I just literally, I saw that it was his birthday the whole day. And it was just like, okay, like, I'm going to say happy birthday, right? That's my mistake. I said happy birthday. He said thank you. That's it. Two days later, he like, oh, you missed me. So, it's like, you want to not be toxic, but you want to be toxic. So, we ended up talking, talking or whatever. I, I, then he was like, oh, because before I stopped talking to him for my birthday, he was supposed to give me a gift. And he was like, oh, I'll get you a gift for your birthday if you give me my gift. I, I, all this extra stuff. Now, this is the dumb part on my end because I should have listened to my friends because I was sitting right here on this couch that you guys see me on. And I asked my friends, like, oh, do you think I should buy this boy my jealous? And my friend was like, no. Like, they was all mobbing on me. Like, no. Like, you do not need to get him no more jealous. Da, da, da. I just started speaking again. Da, da, da. But, you know, me being me, I'm just like, no. Like, you know, we're going to do a gift exchange or whatever. Ah, ah. So, my friends were like, if you don't get no gift exchange, you need to get your Margellas back. But I'm like, I'm not really an Indian giver. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I give you something, like, it's meaningful. Like, whatever it can be. But did I think I was going to get a gift back? I did. Because I thought we was on a different path. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Ah, ah. All this extra stuff. Girls did not get that gift. <laughs> I did not, I never got that gift. Like, still to this day, I never got the gift. But it's cool, though. Like, it's no love loss. It's just, like, I just, we about to, you know, we about to get into this. So, I bought, I bought the Margellas. Well, it hits me, whatever. It was, a, it was, it was, like, a con 400. It wasn't, like, nothing, like, OD. But, um, I, I got him the Margellas or whatever. I, I, he was so appreciative that I got him in. And... You know, that's when we started talking, like, you know, being on the phone, all this extra stuff, doing all this, like, whatever. This is why I say I feel like he finessed in me, right? Because we was, like, talking every day, doing stuff, whatever, whatever, whatever. The first thing that I, I really don't be on Facebook like that, but the first thing I seen was this girl, basically, like, I posted him. And I never really post a, pe a person that I talk to, unless it's to my close friends, because I feel like, I don't think, like, somebody could take my man. I just think, like, certain things are very private. And, like, I like to be open about my platform about me. Like, it's not me and him. Like, the like my page is not consistent of me and, me and the person that I deal with. Like, it's about me and building my platform as a person. Like, I'm not building his platform. He don't have no platform. So, at the end of the day, like, 
if I post him on my platform or if I post him next to me on YouTube and stuff like that, then it becomes a platform thing, like a together thing, like, you know what I'm saying? But it was not given that, I did not want to do that. So I ended up posting him or whatever, cause he was at Phoenix for me to post him. So I posted him, it was a cute little picture. And then after that, like two days later, one of his friends was like, oh, y'all posted him, but I really be in his bed. Now that was weird to me. And still to this day, I feel like that was weird. Even though the girl said it was not like th given that, I feel like as a female woman to woman, that was weird because it's like, I just posted you, but then like two days later, she posted that, right? I didn't really give much or give rowdy rowdy because I feel like it's never appropriate to go after the person you go after Yemi in. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they could be funny too. The person, whoever it is, they could be funny. But I feel like at the same time, I need to adjust that with my man and the person that I'm dealing with. Because I don't need to work. I, like, I'm not pressed. And I don't want to never feel like, I don't ever want a bitch to feel like I'm pressed. So I'm not about to press them about a man. But I am going to check my man and see what, what's going on, what this whole situation is about. I asked him, I'm like, yo, what's, you know, what's the word, da, 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 what's up? He like, oh, I don't know why she's doing that, that's weird, uh, uh, but uh, she's just playing, it's not that deep, da, 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 it is deep. Because if a nigga was supposed to me right now and be like, oh, I'm his shorty and all this extra stuff and um y'all y'all post him but i really i really be in shorty bed you will be in you will be in a show like in a shit show so like let's practice what we preach so that happened and then like two days later he kissed his friend in the mouth and then like it was like it was sent to me so like do y'all like y'all get it like i bought you something but then it's just like we working on whatever we working on but then like all these allegations or all these things is coming out like after i bought after the sh after it was shipped so you, it started, all these things started coming up. So that it was going like red flag, red flag, red flag. Cause I'm like, what the hell? Like, why is all this stuff coming up about this man? Like, I'm like, it was nothing coming up before I bought them, bought the Margellas. I worried to everything. We was good. We was calm. It was no issues. Once he asked me to buy him those things and I bought the Margellas and then like all this stuff was happening. I'm just like, yo, like what is going on? But this is why I said he finessed me. It wasn't even about the stuff that was happening. I feel like. That was happening, but it was just like the nonchalant. Like, it was just like a defensive thing. Like, oh, well, I don't know why people are sending you stuff, but you know why people are going to send me stuff because they know that I deal with you. So, I posted you. So, anything that you do from now on, they're going to come back and tell me. Like, if you're out in a club and you're doing something you're not supposed to do and they know I just posted you, my homegirls is going to let me know that's, that's what you're doing. It's called loyalty. Like, just like if I was around, you know, and, y and you know, I said something about you, I would hope your friends go back and tell you, but I know they tell you because. You know, I know they tell you exactly what I be saying, but I hope they direct you to this video. So, you definitely know that this is for you. I don't need to even say your name. Like, you know this is for you. So, whatever his name be or whatever, that happened. And then, I was, you know, I charged to the game because, like, I felt the way. But it was just like, okay, like, whatever. Like, it's cool. It's not that deep. But I'm not kissing my friend. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just not doing it. I don't play those type of games. I may dance on my friend and, you know, do a little fake dry humping. But I'm not kissing my friend. Like, that's just weird to me. Like, I'm sorry. Nobody's not going to tell me that's not weird. That's weird, bro. Like, I'm sorry. That's weird. I don't know what kind of gay shit y'all got going on but i don't do that but this is why i don't deal with bitch queens so you know we started you know we was talking about our eye uh, uh, and then we were like really really talking it was getting like really really deep with us like you know like really deep conversations and like saying i love you and all this extra stuff like you know i was going out there to see him he was like you know what i guess we was good but this is why i feel like it was getting weird because i would always come out there to see you but you would never want to come see me but you would always seem for me to come see you right it's weird and then it's like, okay, it's cool, whatever. And then the next time I saw him, we supposed to have a gift exchange. We never had no gift exchange. I didn't charge this to the game because I'm not pressed about a gift. But it's just a principle. Like, if you ask me to buy you something, you going to buy me something. Like, I feel like you should have just did it off the GP. But the fact that, like, you never spoke about it and you try to, like, swipe it under the rug by taking me out on a date, that was some bum ass shit. So, you know, I... I do stuff out the kindness of my heart, and I really don't ask for stuff in return, but I just feel like when I didn't get it in return, it was like, okay, like, I'm like low-key seeing, like, it's something that's not adding up and something that's not sitting right with me. And I feel like, you know, I was letting a lot of things slide, like I said, or whatever. So, this, oh my god, I'm trying to say this without, like, getting emotional or, like, whatever, because I feel like I'm still going through it, but I feel like I need to get this out. So, I was going to see him, I was going to see him, I was going to see him, there was no issues, right? I was, like, 
leave Elena, go like fly to him, all this extra stuff, like see him go on dates, spend time with him, lay up with him, all this extra stuff, like you know what I'm saying, be on the phone, come back home, be on the phone, be on the phone all night, all this extra stuff, like every single day talking to this boy, right, like really, really liking this boy, like deep, deep liking this boy, so I asked him one day, I'm like, yo, let me ask you a question, like what we doing, and then he was like, what you mean, I'm like, so like do we like, are we dating? Because I know we talk, but like, are we dating like to be in a relationship or like, are we just dating a date? He hit me with the, oh, I don't want to be in a relationship right now, whatever, uh, uh, and I don't want to stop you. Now, if a person says they don't want to stop you from doing, like, you know, like, if you feel like, if they feel like they're holding you back, you need to run. Like, run from the situation. Like, do not try to like fix it out or think like oh okay it's gonna work like no like run bitch for real like i'm so serious so me being me i said okay like it kind of like not hurt my feelings but i feel like it kind of like gagged me a little bit because i was not expecting him to say that i thought he was going to be like oh yeah like we are like you know like in a relationship whatever he said be whatever so when he said that i said oh okay like it was just kind of weird because it was just like what's like where is this coming from because like we were speaking every single day, every single day. So like, what is like, what is stop, what is stopping you from like going fully forced? Because I feel like the only reason why I pressured it is because we was already talking for a year. So it's like after a year, you should know what you want. Let's be real. Like nobody's gonna talk to somebody for a year and then we just keep talking. Like you after like even though we was on and off for a year, you still know what you want and you should have known if you didn't want me. You should have vocalized that, like, I'm not going to front, like, I don't want to be in a relationship with you, but, like, you know, I just want to date around, whatever, he said, whatever. And I would have told you, like, no, love lost, but, like, I don't want to do that because I feel like I don't want to do that. Like, the next person that I talk to, I want to be able to, like, be in a relationship with them. I don't want to keep talking to people and it don't work out and talk to the next person and it don't work out and talk to this one, talk to that one. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, if I'm going to talk to you, I want to be able to talk to you and then it's just, like, we're working on being in a relationship. Not right away, but, like, that's what I want in this, like, point in my life. Like, I don't want to keep just dating and dating and, oh, I'm outside and I'm single and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's corny. Like, I've been there and done that. I don't, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want no old flings i don't want none of that like i just want somebody that's like just gonna be truthful and like the boy was truthful but i feel like he was truthful i had to get it out of him and i feel like that's the problem it was always weird that had that you know that situation or whatever and then you know i took a step back because i'm like okay like maybe um you know i wasn't being delusional but i was being a person that had feelings. So I was like blocking, like slowly but surely blocking my feelings back up. Like, okay, I think I'm doing too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then like with a bush queen, it's like, you don't know if you're doing a lot or if you're not doing a lot, if that makes sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I didn't know like if I was doing too much or if like I was not doing a lot for him to feel the way he was feeling. It was just kind of weird because like, I didn't expect him to say that. I don't know. I just feel like, how do you say that after for somebody for a whole year? Like, you should know if you want to speak or not. That's just me per se. Like, I'm not speaking to somebody for a year and then you're like, I don't know what it is. So that's when I started being like, okay, I don't feel like I'm getting a delusional from Queen. So I'm going to just take a step back. Whatever. We cool. So Valentine's Day is coming around the corner, right? And, you know... The last time I saw him before Valentine's Day, he was like, oh, um, we need to go to the mall or whatever. No, we was in the mall and he was like, oh, I got to get your gift, da, 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 whatever. And I was just like, he's like, oh, I'm so happy we're in the mall. You can pick out something. I'm like, no, that's so tacky. Why would you want me to pick out something? And when I got your gift, I gave you that gift or the strength of me sitting in my, sitting in my house. You showed me something and then I did it. I feel like if you was going to give me a gift, you should know me. You should know what I like. You should know what I wear. You should know me by now. You should study me. So I feel like if you don't study me, then what are we doing, right? Because I studied him. Like, I knew what he liked. I know what he eat every day in the morning. Like, I know his favorite food. I know what he's allergic to. I know everything about that boy i was very observant i know what to do when he's mad i know what to do to calm him down when he's sad like i knew so much and it's just like you just you couldn't know what to get me for a gift was just bullshit you just didn't want to get the gift and it was cool i feel like i would have respected you more if you would have just not like if you would have just been vocal about that like i'm not gonna fry i don't want to get you the gift or whatever like i'm appreciative of what you got me but i don't want to get you a gift i feel like you should have lied and said about a gift exchange like if you just wanted my jealous boo you should just said you 
you wanted to march jealous and that was that. Like, you didn't have to lie. And you didn't have to sell a fantasy. And that's another thing that butch queens do. They like to sell a fantasy. They just sell a fantasy to the girls. Like, you know? Like, oh, they really want you. They really down for you. But, like, butch queens be using the girls. Like, you know, the girls have more clout. Let's be real. Girls have more clout. Film queens definitely have more clout than butch queens. Certain butch queens. And, you know, they capitalize off of that. Like, they want to be around us. They want the butch queens and film queens aesthetic. You know, like, they want to have one of the fabulous girls, one of the prettiest girls. And I am one of the prettiest girls. Definitely one of the prettiest girls out of NYC. Like, I mean, look at me. Like, you know, wash face, nothing. You know, no makeup, no nothing. Like, I will, I will want to jack me, too. Because that's what, the, that's what they try to do. They try to jack me. And, like, they're, like, trying to pay the narrative that we really talk. And that's another thing. That's why I cannot deal with butch queens no more because, like, they like to paint narratives that's not there. So, you know, I mean, I'm a fab girl. I would want, want to jack me, too. But it's like you, I feel like they try to play with the girls' feelings a lot. And they try to make it seem like we're delusional and we're not delusional. Like, niggas be doing shit and then they be acting like they're a victim. Or, like, you know, if a butch queen come around, they'll, like, try to feel it on you. And that's why I be saying, like, I don't I don't understand why butch queens want to talk to girls. Because it's like, when a butch come around, y'all be trying to feel it or throw it. Like, oh, it's not giving that. I watch butch queens do that. Now, a lot of them don't do that to me. But I watch them do it to certain girls. And then I be having a sticker for the girls. Like, don't do that. Like, I don't play that. Because I feel like... If you go and jack that shorty, jack that shorty. Don't try to, like, downplay her because, like, it's a butch queen in your face. And that's so nasty and that's so dirty. And that's what y'all butch queens doing. Y'all are fucking disgusting. Right? So, Valentine's Day came or whatever. That happened. And, you know, I, he wrote me Happy V-Day Pretty. How do you tell somebody Happy V-Day Pretty and you y'all been talking for a minute? I would never text somebody that I've been talking to hbd like you know what i'm saying and then it's like we're not even in the same city i feel like you could the most you could have gave me was a nice cute paragraph and some edible arrangements or like some cute flowers like you know where i live at you have my location like you knew where i where i be at like you watch my location so it's like you could have sent something to me like you knew my apartment i'm like you like you know what i'm saying like we was there like you knew the stuff bro so it's just like you could have did that like Flowers or edible arrangements would have been would have meant so much to me because it's like okay like damn like you know what I'm saying like it's cool like I fuck with that and let me tell y'all why it's another thing I told him that we could still after he told me what he told me before about like he didn't want to like be in a relationship I told him like well that's what I'm working towards like I want to be in a relationship with somebody so if that's not what you want I feel like we don't need to speak I literally said that on the phone he continued to kept like speaking to me so that means that you want to work on being in a relationship. Yes, because I just told you on the phone that that's what I want. I don't want to keep talking to other people or date other people. Like, that's not what I want to do. Like, I really like you and I want to date you. I want to be in a relationship with you. Like, I want you. I don't have to keep saying it all the time to boost your fucking ego. You know that I want you. So, I'm not about to sit up here and play these games. If that's how what you want, that's cool. I could chug it to the game. And then, we, like, you know, I'll bring it to the next person or, like, I'll move on. You're not the last. You're, what I really want people to know is, is that when it comes to, like, a man and they can feel like that about me, too, that, you know, I'm not the only girl in the world and I'm not. And you're not the only man in the world. And I want you to know that, that you're not the only man in the world. You are in, you you are the man in the moment of what's happening. So, you know, like, feelings. like You know what I'm saying? Like, you're the man in the moment. So, I'm going to have these feelings about you. But please do not feel like you're the man for the rest of the world. Like, I'm going to keep, keep thinking about you from a year from now or from five months from now. That's not happening. Do I feel like right now, because of what just happened, and this just happened like two weeks ago, yes, I'm still healing, like I'm still hurt about the situation. But do I feel like a month or so or two months from now, I'm going to feel how I feel right now? I'm not. I'm not going to care. This is actually my closure. This video is actually going to be my closure. This is why I'm doing a video, because I need to let this out tonight. I just found out something tonight, so I feel like I just need to let it all out tonight, and I will not talk about this shit ever again so yeah you obviously kept talking to me because you want to be in a relationship because if i tell you i don't want to like you know what i'm saying like that's not what i want i don't want to hear like oh i don't want to like like you know what i'm saying you obviously want that too 
paying it. So now we speaking. Valentine's Day's come. He like HBD. So he calls me like, oh, why you never wrote back to me? I'm like, because I feel like that is so weird. Like, why would you write me HBD like I'm some day room bitch? Like, that is so disrespectful. That's so weird. Like, you acting weird. And that's the thing. You know when, a, like, a person that you're talking to is acting weird. And I had a good feeling like something just don't feel right with me. Like, something just don't feel right. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, because he wanted to have an argument. And I feel like when boys want to have an argument with you, they want to cheat. That's my theory. I feel like when it's an argument out of nowhere, they want to cheat or they want to do something or they did something. Because it's like, we was cool yesterday, but now all of a sudden, Valentine's Day, we have this issue. And it's like, you know, you mad because I didn't write you back. But you know I was going to write you back. Like, you wrote me something so boring. I was never writing you back after that. Like, you sound crazy. So, I told him that, whatever. Then, you know, I was talking to my friend. My friend, like, girl, like, fuck that nigga. Like, we not about to, like, you're not about to be sitting here, like, in the house sad on Valentine's Day. Like, it's not that deep. Like, girl, like, we outside. So, I ended up going outside with my sister. And, you know, we had, like, a little girls. They went to the, you know, the nail salon. And we went out to eat. Had a couple of drinks. And, you know, we went back to our house. And we was chilling. It was cool. Like, you know, it was on Day. It was cool. And I just kept, he just kept calling me. And I found this so weird that like he kept calling me because it was just like I felt like he was calling me to see what I was doing because like I know he was watching my location and I, like it was just like oh what you doing like you still outside you still outside because I'm not gonna front when I'm in the house I'm a homebody so if I'm outside I'm like outside like I'm in the field for real like if Tiara's outside like I'm outside like I'm going everywhere I'm going to the first club the second club I'm going to the athletes I'm going everywhere like because I don't be outside like that so I'm going to live in the moment and just like you know be outside and have fun because that's what I really want to do have fun I don't have drama I don't really be in nothing like, I really don't like if you don't like me you just can't take me because you're me and probably want me but that's about it but like I don't really get into like nothing of that nature so that's that and yeah so he just kept calling me or whatever and i kept i was telling my friend like i don't like it's just so weird like it's okay like i know he calls me but like he was outside so i was like why are you outside keep calling me like if you so bored about like you being outside you keep calling me you should have came to Atlanta to come see me if you was really a badass nigga and you really had it how you claim that you have it, how you put that facade on for social media, you should have came and popped up on me. You should have scooped me. You should have came suddenly and scooped me, surprised me. Oh, oh my God, like, my baby's here, da 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 all this extra stuff. And then, like, it would have been no issue. But you didn't do that because you don't have that. You was never like that. You was never on that, right? So, that happened. And then, I said to myself, he did not call me. He didn't call me like he usually called me when he go home. And I was watching his location. Because I'm crazy. So I was watching his location. And then. I'm sorry y'all. My allergies. Like. I don't do coke or nothing. Like my allergies is carrying. I don't play that. So. um, And I have a cat. So. I was watching his location. And I kept telling my, I kept saying to myself. Like something don't feel right. Like this boy is moving in certain places. Like I know when he's going to his friend's house. I know when he's at his mom's job. Like I just like. Come on. Y'all know what it is. Like I'm not stupid. So I'm like. Dang. And he didn't call me. And that was the one time he did not call me. And that boy would call me drunk and all, all the time. He did not call me no more. So it was like, okay, that's so weird. I paid it. The next day, I don't think I spoke to him the next day either. Okay, cool. Then, like, the third day, I ended up going out there. And then it's just like, it was just back to activeness. Like, you know, like, call me, oh, what you doing, what you doing? And, yeah, let's go here, let's go that, da, 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 da. And, you know, we was, you know, um... We was going on dates and stuff or whatever. We was going out to eat. And I just felt like it was so weird. Like, I don't know. Something just really, like, told me, like, something is just not right. Like, something is just not right. And, yeah, something wasn't right. And I kept saying that, like, something is not, like, the way that he was acting and how he just was so adamant to be on me and just, like, the way it was, it was just like, I felt like he was like, he did something. But I didn't like really pay no mind because I'm like, maybe I'm like bugging. Maybe I'm just wrapped up in my head because I have trauma from like people cheating and stuff. So when you have trauma from people cheating, you know, when you see certain little similarities in like a person that you're talking to, you automatically think that. And sometimes it don't be that. So I'm like, mm, maybe I'm bugging. But then I'm like, no, I'm not bugging. Like I know when, uh, when a nigga did something. So of course like you're not gonna tell me that you did something so you know everything was good i ended up like you know we still was talking or whatever uh, uh, and then 
when I came back home, he asked me a question like, oh, did you have sex with anybody this year? I'm like, no. Did you? He's acting like he's so clueless that like he don't know what's going on. So he finally admits and tells me like, yeah, he did, right? So I'm like, when did you do it? He like, oh, it was in January. But it was a one night stand. It wasn't that deep. Okay. I told him that he was lying. Because I knew you did something on, for you, when you verify that you had sex with somebody, I knew you had sex with somebody on Valentine's Day because the way you was acting on Valentine's Day and the fact that I didn't hear from you and the fact that I was watching your location, you was having sex. And I knew you wasn't having sex at your house. So I knew you was having sex. It's cool. So I'm sitting there on the phone. I'm like, okay, like, I guess it's cool. Like, it's cool. Like, I'm not pressed, whatever. He's on the phone. Like, oh, like, what you gonna do? You gonna block me now? Or whatever like you're gonna try to talk to my friend i'm just like why would i do all of that like if i like you i'm not about to keep you know what i'm saying like i'm not about to go tip for tap with you because that's not what you want to do that's one and secondly i don't need to mess with your friend or you know what i'm saying like stoop to your level and like just i'm not gonna do that and the fact that you was asking me that just gives me like you was trying to like not press me but i feel like you was trying it like you was trying to see if i was gonna test the waters and i feel like that's so weird because it's like what you trying to get at because it's like you don't want to give that with me because i'm a very sweet girl but i can be very nasty and my mouth is very nasty and i could really take it there if i really wanted to take it there so he told me that or whatever and then try to pull the stunt like oh it was a it was a bitch queen, so it don't even matter. It shouldn't even matter because it wasn't a girl. My nigga, it don't matter if it was your granny. And it don't matter if it was a a old lady on the street. It don't matter if it was even a freaking dog or a horse, whatever it was. It's about the it's the common fact that you felt the need to do something and then you lied in my face. And then you asked and you really pussy because you, I was with you and you waited until I came home to tell me that because if you would have told, if he was to told me in my face that he had sex with somebody on Valentine's Day, I would have punched him. I would have, I probably would not even be making this video. I don't even got to say what I would have did. I just know I wouldn't be making this video. So that's what I'm saying. Like you strategize how you was going to tell me. You waited until I was all the way in Atlanta because I'm not about to book a flight to be toxic and beat you up. Like I don't got, like yo, you going to get your karma, but I don't need to do all of that to prove a point to you because my thing is like, that's what you want. You want me to block you. You want me to sub you. I'm not going to sub you. I'm not going to sub you. But I'm definitely going to like make you watch me in a different way. You want me to go live. I'm not going to go live. I'm going to make you watch this because I know your friends is going to send you this. And they're going to say, oh my God, I think she's talking about you. And if your friends say that they think I'm talking about you, then they know that you're a bum. Because you are a bum. Because you're literally having sex with somebody with the stuff that I bought you. That's weird. And then you try to sit on the you try to sit on the phone with me and try to act like you were so apologetic. And this is the problem that I have because I really was sparing it and I wasn't trying to really take it there because you know I'm not I'm not a person that really bash people. But I feel like when you violate me, I'm going to violate. And I be letting a lot of stuff slide. But it's the fact that you was on social media boosting about what you did on Valentine's Day. Like, that shit was cute. And, you know, that shit really hurt me. And the fact that you was boosting about it and then you pumping it around. Like, oh, my nigga this, my nigga this, my nigga that. Your nigga this. You're fucking the nigga with the shit that I got you. You're a bum-ass bitch. You're a bum-ass bitch. You're a bum. You're a bum. You pop so much shit and you really don't stand on your word. And that was that's what makes you a weak ass man. And I have no respect for you. Like to this day, going forward, I have no respect for you. We can never be nothing. I swear. Like if I wouldn't even give you I wouldn't even give you grace, Monica. I would not even want to even speak to you. Like I would make my friends punch in my face if they see me talking to you. Like we don't have nothing to speak about. You're a bum ass bitch. And you really finessed me because you was trying to put on this narrative. This is why I say you finessed me. You tried to put on this narrative that you were so sorry. Like, because I told him I, I didn't want to talk to him no more. Like, it's over. Like, it's done. Like, I don't want to speak to you. And he was putting this whole narrative. Like, he was so sad. And he was so sorry. Let me read. I always have my receipt. He was trying to give, I'm honestly sorry, T. I don't want to hurt you for real. I'm just trying to change my ways. Learning from my mistakes. Just trying to do better as a whole. I don't know. But keep in mind, before that, I put on my Instagram note, like, I don't feel, like, basically, I was just like, 
I don't like I feel played like I feel finessed and then he started mobbing on me like oh that's so weird you always want to talk shit on social media and you know, yada 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 all this extra stuff I didn't know you was dating Instagram I didn't know I was dating Instagram too because that's what happens with you I didn't know I was dating you and somebody else because you was fucking niggas on Valentine's Day but you talking about how, what I posted on my Instagram notes like you wasn't fucking somebody like I don't care what I posted I could have posted like oh my god Beyonce got me in my bag you, you still would have felt away the problem is is that you don't feel away about what I posted you feel away because I'm exposing you for being an ain't shit ass nigga like let's be clear if you're saying let's be really clear if you're talking to somebody right and you post something on social media and they be like, oh, I don't like what you post and da-da-da, all this extra stuff. And mind you, I didn't even say his name. I didn't even say the situation. I just said, I feel played and finessed. That's what I said. You knew that was for you because that's what you're doing. So you were given like, oh, why are you selling me, da-da-da. Because you're playing and finessing me. And then, like, you're trying to act like I'm, like, dumb and delusional or, like, I'm bugging. And I don't like that. Like, I don't like for nobody to make me feel like I'm delusional because I'm not delusional about nobody. I'm not delusional about nobody. I get niggas. And I feel like I lower my standard for certain people because I I like them and I like their personality and it's not about the looks and it's not about like what they could do for me. It's just like sometimes when I like you, I like you. And sometimes I have to stop doing that. I have to meet somebody at my standards from now on because I let a lot of shit slide and I'm not letting bum niggas feel like they're eating it. And that's the thing. This is the problem. This is what brings us to today. You're on social media feeling like you ate it. What did you eat? You not Taseki. You didn't eat nothing, bitch. You think that you ate it, and you really didn't eat it. You bragging about the shit that you did with a nigga, and that's weird. And then now all of a sudden, you're in a relationship or whatever it is. You're weird as fuck. You're a bum-ass bitch. And no shade. If you was a girl, I would have smacked the shit out of you, but you're not. So it's like, you know, this is the only way that I could really, like, you know, say what I have to say. But you're a bum. And the point of the story is, do not date butch queens. For my fun queens out there, for my young fun queens that, you know, I know the butch queens could be bad and butch queens are bad and some of them look really good, but the illusion is there and do not do it. I'm sorry. If you're not going to get your peace, like as far as like a one night stand situation or like, you know, like, yeah, like a one night stand situation or like, you know, y'all just fuck buddies, do not do it. Do not date them. Like they will really try to finish you and make it seem like you're bugging or you're crazy or delusional and that's not that. And I'm pretty sure after this video, anybody going to say the same shit like, oh, she She's weird and all this extra stuff. No, you're a bum ass bitch. And that's weird. You're bragging about something that you was on the phone acting like you were so sad about. That's why I don't trust people because it's like you're bragging on Twitter and on social media about the shit that you're doing with a nigga. But then you're on my line on my phone acting like you're so sorry for hurting me or whatever. I don't want to hurt you, but you did. And it's like I would have gave you grace if you would have like really meant that you really hurt me. And it's like, you know, you moved on, whatever, right? But I don't understand how you can move on and this shit just happened two weeks ago. That means that you was been talking to this person because I cannot stop speaking to somebody for two weeks. And the next thing you know, I'm dating somebody else. And then I was just speaking to that person for a whole year. Now, it was somebody that I was speaking to for like a, a, like a month or so or like two months. Like, yeah, like, girl, like. Like, that's nothing but this is somebody that I was talking to for a year how was you able to move on that quick that's crazy that means you never really liked me like that for real and I'm not saying you have to be sad depressed in the house but like I just would not move on that quick that's just weird to me like I don't understand how you could move on that quick but that are that is butch queens for you and that's why I learned my lesson I cannot do it y'all butch queens are weird and y'all are nasty and that's why I made that tiktok video and I'm gonna insert it into this clip into this, I said, in slip, into this video because y'all do do that. Y'all think that y'all could do y'all one, 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 and I'm not here for the two, 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 and I don't want to do the three, 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 three. It's that simple. For the butch queens that's going around, I don't know what the stigma is. A lot of y'all like to say that we talked or not have, but like y'all just keep saying certain situations or whatever. Like, please keep my name out of your mouth. Like, I do not live in New York, I literally moved months ago. I don't be having no drama, right? And I feel like y'all butch queens are so messy. Y'all are messy. Like, y'all want to be girls so bad. Like, y'all really want to be the sis so bad. Like, y'all really be messy. And I, I hate that for y'all. Because some of y'all are too cute for that. But y'all really act like girls. And I feel like this is the point. If you do not like girls, do not lead girls on. Like, this boy really leading me on. Like, he really was in love with me. Really liked me. All this extra stuff finessed it took myself you don't want to be in a relationship then then when you get called out for the shit you do you you was in a relationship with me like it's just weird then you want to have a relationship with me and a boy like 
I just feel like you played mind games with me. And I feel like that was so fucked up. Like, you really shit it. And you ate that. You ate the mind game, but you would never eat the ending battle. Because the ending battle is the karma that you're going to receive. And I'm not going to pray for your downfall or anything like that. But you're going to receive karma and you're going to gag. Because I was one of the realest, trillest, illest, meanest, real ass bitch for you. And I'm really down. When I'm down for somebody, I'm really down for somebody. And the fact that you violated me, my glow up is going to be crazy. I ain't about to sit in this house crying for you. I've been there and now. I cried. I swept. <laughs> and I did all of that. I burnt my sage. I listened to my Ariana. Shout out to Ariana Grande. Her album was everything. It was definitely healing for me. And I just feel like I'm just in a space now where I'm cool. And I'm cool. But I just want this to be a message that y'all need to not deal with bitch queens because I do not want no girl to feel the way I feel, especially take hormones or anything like that. I don't want nobody to ever like go through certain things that I went through because people don't understand that having feelings for somebody and people really like somebody hurts your feelings is really a lot. And if you really know me, I'm really cold hearted. So once i really open up to you and you really violate my trust whether it's a friend or a boyfriend i feel like it's no coming back from that and i feel like it's no coming back for that and that's the point of this video like i want this i did this video because i asked y'all if y'all wanted it and i'm gonna give it to y'all i'm gonna tell y'all the real tea because that's just what it is and i don't even have to say the person's name because y'all know who it is i call him mr boston for a reason and he's one of the main reasons why I would never, ever talk to a boy from Boston and probably never date a bush queen again because y'all really ain't shit and y'all think y'all girls and y'all not. So that was that. And I don't even want the Margellas because it was a gift. But I just want people to know that you think that you're feeling it riding around in another person's car that's not yours. Or stuff that's not yours and you're talking like you're a user and that's the point of this video too you're a user and it's so sad because I did not see it but like not now not dealing with you I see that you're a fucking user you're a loser and you're a user and it's like at the end of the day I won because God got me for real for real all jokes aside God got me and he always guides me in the right direction. He always lets me know who's there for me and who's not. And he showed me that you was an ain't, uh, ain't sh Oh, I'm not even going to curse. An ain't person, right? Sorry, God, I'm not going to curse. Mom, I'm saying something about you. So, he showed me. And I'm really, I'm really grateful for you. Because you showed me that I can't have my guard down with nobody. And... No matter how hard I may like somebody, I always have to be a step ahead. And I always have to, you know, say ten toes because people are not genuine. And I'm glad that you, you taught me. You taught me to not have my guard down no more. Like, always keep it up. Because you, this is what you wanted. You, you wanted me to address it. You wanted me to go on Instagram Live and violate like you know what i'm saying like you was trying to stop it you was trying to stop it took about some oh you don't like that when i post on social media and stuff like that like i would never talk about you on instagram because you're not that important but will i make a video about you so that you can know i know everything that you've been doing yes because i know you're gonna watch it so i really hope that it was worth it i really hope this was worth it because now look where we at <sighs> that actually felt really really good that actually felt really good to get out y'all don't understand because i feel like when i saw what i saw i was getting my hair done and i cried when i got in the car but i cried because i was angry because i'm like you're literally like vocalizing violating me on social media and then it's like you be trying to act like you're a victim and you don't do this and like you just do this baby baby doll shit like you just act like you're such a baby and you don't do this and you don't do that. But, like, you're literally gloating about what you do on social media. And this is about, this is from, this is, like, on a Twitter. Like, you're talking about it on Twitter. Like, I don't be on Twitter. And it just so happened that I came across it. And it's like, wow. I thought I really knew you because I wasn't going to bash you. You know? I thought you was a bum. But, like, 
I said that to like my girls and you know like in private but I never bashed you because I had love for you I had love for you I don't have love for you no more like it's clip but I had love for you and you know did I think we would ever like talk again down the line no did I think that if I saw you months from now you said hi to me like I would give you a hi but like that's about it because I'm grown and I'm mature and I'm an adult 